Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So DC just dropped a new trailer for the Flash movie, official trailer too. I'm very excited for this film. I can wait for this film to come out, especially because of Michael Keaton's Batman. I love, I love Michael Keaton as Batman. And of course, it is a reset to the DC universe. So yeah, let's watch this trailer in three, two, one. Like an intro? I lost my parents. Yeah, Bruce Wayne told me. That pain made me who I am. Mm -hmm. I spent a lifetime trying to right the wrongs of the past. Bro, it looks so cool. The Batcave. Fighting crime would bring my parents back. You actually did it. I love you, Mickey. <laughs> you lost both parents in one day. I went back in time to save my parents. So that's what happened. I completely broke the universe. Similar to No Way Home. Zod. Do you know what this symbol stands for? It means hope, right? I love these lights off. You wanna get nuts? <laughs> Let's get nuts. Let's get nuts. Yeah! <laughs> Damn. Oh man. Bat Flag is here. Damn! Don't let your trash be defined here. Shit, what? Oh, man. Damn! Damn! Shit, what the hell is going on? Oh my god. This looks crazy. Yeah. Bro, Batman in daylight. Looks cool. Oh my god. Look at the logos, man. Wow. You're strapped to your parachutes. The wind's yours! <laughs> Damn, yo. All right, that's it. Oh man, this movie looks crazy. It looks good, like genuinely, it looks good. I mean, maybe the CGI is kind of, you know, bad in some scenes, but it's all right. I think it, it looks great. The movie looks great, really. Like, for you know, the plot looks great. You know, him going to past, trying to save his parents, and now, you now consequences are happening. Similar. To no way home how he wanted to change the past and the multiverse broke so that's the same thing that happens here and yeah it's a great connection between batman and flash both of them actually lost their parents but you know flash succeeded to bring them back and man like really this movie looks crazy and i heard great people are talking great things about this movie like tom cruise now he's telling great things about this movie and people are saying it's one of the best superhero movies ever made and I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna be there in theaters, so I can't, I really can't wait for this, because, you know, it is like a reset, it is a big thing for DC now, right now. Also, I wanna mention at the ending of the trailer how, you know, the bat logo, you know, the, was on the moon, that was really great. So, you know, the best superhero movies we got were not that good, Shazam, you know, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Black Adam, and you know, Marvel and DC are not on a good track right now, but man, this movie's coming out, I think it'll change everything, and yeah, it, it, it'll definitely earn a lot of money, it's coming out in June, so yeah, I'll be there, I'll be in theaters, I can't wait for it to come out, especially because, you know, it is the last time also we are seeing 
Ben Affleck as a Batman, and I love Ben Affleck as Batman, but yeah, Keaton, Keaton is great, man. I love Michael Keaton, not just as, as a Batman, but I think he really is a great actor. And, you know, all the Ezra Miller stuff, you know, I really don't care about it at all. I'm just gonna watch that movie and enjoy it, you know. Hell, you know, this movie looks like it could be a very long film, like two and a half hour, half hour longs, because it looks like there's a lot of story to tell. Especially with the what's her name, the girl, super, the the Supergirl, and you know, I don't know. We'll see what happens with the Zod, and they are trying. You know, this is like the ending for the DCU, for the DC extended universe, and it is going way back to the Man of Steel, to the beginning, you know, like to that timeline. So it is like a nice circle, nice ending to the DC extended universe, and a beautiful start, probably to the new DC universe that James Gunn is building right now yeah I don't know what more to say uh, there were two flash and movies so two flash of them we saw that in the first trailer I don't know which tra trailer was better maybe the first one but no this this one also got me hyped very hyped you know yeah I'm really excited for it I mean when I heard the Tom Cruise after seeing this movie called the director of the movie too just tell him how great the movie was. You know, this movie l really promised me, promises a lot to me. And it just makes me very excited. Because, you know, with all th the whole DC Extended Universe was not on a good track. It was not, you know, planned like the MCU was. And it seems like they're finally starting to do something real, something smart, something clever. You know, James Gunn. Is the head of it, he's the mastermind, and they are bringing all of those new characters plus the older characters. Some of them will be recast, I don't know. And I am excited for you know, that's that's the thing that I'm excited in this movie to see how are they going to play out that the you know, the past, the past of the new chapter in the DC universe, how will they tell that story? You know, if all the people can recast and everything, how will it make sense? And yeah, I was sad when the bad, the bad girl movie was cancelled. Probably just because of Michael Keaton. Because I want to see him as Batman more and more. And he is one of my favorite Batmans. So yeah, as I said, that makes me also very excited for this film. But the trailer, trailer looks crazy good i mean it's way better than the marvel trailer which was kind of disappointing to me and i wasn't even expecting that much from that movie but you know still and uh, yeah the flash looks great how huh? either can't wait for it yeah that's it guys from this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one